Welcome back to Central Minnesota Firewood, everybody. My name's Eli. I've uh, been getting a few questions lately about the 895 from Neotech, which is a Husqvarna 395 XP clone. Um, right away, I had a little bit of issues out of the box. I uh, was having trouble oiling. If you've been following along, you know that. I'm just going to go through my overall thoughts of the saw now that I've had it for about three months. I've used it several times. I have probably... I don't know, six hours on it total on the throttle, uh, which isn't a lot, but it, it's enough to give you a, a good opinion of the saw in my opinion. And then I'll kind of run through all the stuff that I've done to it to make it uh, what it is now. Uh, first impressions was very good. Uh, the fit and finish is pretty nice. Um, the saw went together, I had a little bit of issues while I was assembling the saw. Uh, the clutch didn't want to go on. The clutch cover didn't want to go on quite right. One of the, the bar studs wasn't seated. Uh, once I got that seated, everything's been really good. Um, obviously, I still I had the oiling issue. And what I did to take care of that was I enlarged the oiling holes, both in the top and the bottom. That's helped a little bit. Uh, I took the oil pump apart, and then there's a shaft in there with a flat spot that spins, and that flat spot kind of cups the oil, and that's what sends it to the bar. I made that flat spot much larger. I took probably 20 thousandths off. That has also helped a little bit. Uh, if you heard that, it's awfully windy here. Anybody could make that improvement that is mechanically inclined. There's hardly anything to those oil pumps. A couple of bolts, a couple of screws, and a couple of springs. If you just pay attention to how you took it apart, you'll definitely be able to get it put back together. So the enlarging the oil holes in the bar is a little has made it better a little bit. Kind of reworking that oil pump has also helped a little bit. And then this green oil cap is a vented oil cap. I don't think the oil vent that's in this saw the one that I own was venting properly. So with those three mods, the enlarging the oil holes, kind of messing with the oil pump and putting the vented oil cap in has helped tremendously. I'm also running a pretty thin oil. It's a Mystic Bar oil. Um, it, it's pumping good. It's not pumping like I like it. Uh, so a high flow oil pump would be a little bit better. I'm getting about two thirds of a tank of bar oil to a full tank of gas. And I really like it to be one to one. So it's not quite exactly like I like it, but or I'm not a professional chainsaw operator. So what I like doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way or the suggested way. It's just kind of how I feel that I like things to be. Um, one of the other things that I did is put these little feeler gauges on there. Um, those of you that spend a lot of time watching people make firewood, you know that's a Chris from over at In the Woodyard thing. Um, from the edge of these feelers to the bar is 16 inches. That just gives you a quick reference for making your 16 inch rounds. The saw starts excellent. It, it fires on the third pull every single time, unless it's been sitting for two weeks. Then it usually fires on the third, uh, fourth or fifth pull, Put the slide the choke in, and that next pull it rips right off. Um, it's got a ton of power. I'm running 40 to one gas in it. I think that I could lean it out a little bit in that carb to get a little bit more um, speed and power out of it. But at the same time, I, I like how this saw is running. And for a $400 saw, I couldn't be happier. Um, way more power than what a guy actually needs. And uh, I, it's been good to me. Obviously, I haven't had it that long. Is it gonna be a great saw five years down the road? 10 years down the road, we don't know. Um, but that's one of the things that we all know that we're getting into with the clone saw. It's a entry level way to get into a big saw and i'm happy right now with this saw and uh, i wouldn't hesitate to purchase another one um, i know they're not for everybody but for people that are interested i think this is a good one uh, it's the neotech nh895 again that's the 395 xp clone um, if you have any questions that i didn't answer feel free to reach out i do my best to answer every question and every comment that's on the channel um, and that so feel free to reach out and uh, i'm sure there's probably some things that i didn't cover that you would like to know about it um, and if you do ask those i'll do my best to answer them but like i said I'm, I'm happy right now the next thing that i'll probably do is maybe do a little bit of a muffler mod on there or buy a ported muffler and then i'll just run it until she won't run anymore so thanks for showing up today guys uh, like i said ask me any questions that you want to and i'll do my best to get those out until next time